Greetings everybody, I'm Donald Street here, and welcome back to the Great Ace Detective Chronicles. Chronicles. Last time, we got a very big surprise at the end of the last case, of the previous case, of the previous part. Oh boy. Now we start, we continue chapter, uh, the trial. Good morning to you, Mr. Naruto. Uh, good morning, Professor. Really need for today's proceeding? So I should be even with nothing left. I good morning, either fellows. Mr. Sean, you're here. Why naturally, two gentlemen stand shoulder to shoulder with his friends and battle all the time. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I'll see you later then. Now, Professor, we really need a need a very calm in court today. Yes. Try to do your hardest not to enter the witness stand on a body again. Yes, I will. I realize it was my mistake, but my dear fella, uh, I must interject. Hey, you're still here, Sholmes. What is the matter? Sorry, you are looking so crazy. I'll be right back. Sorry, getting my dinner ready. Surely you overlooked some praise, please, have you not? To cast my, in my direction. Sorry, I don't follow. Must have spell it out. I get a lot of tones, or even say, say the word of the character I can like. Need some of the almost ungodly hour to be here the first thing in the morning. A miracle, you must agree. Oh, if I must agree, then. Hold on. What the heck was that sound? Sleep is impregnable. Ours had to apply her full um, dominant tactic of tactics. She pulled the covers off the sheet of me and poked her chest, punching me and kicked me far enough out of bed. Then she poured a bowling cup of her latest experiment blend on my face that last uh, most. Oh my, ours have been busy. Ours don't like to have her to have it to go over that far. That's too nice. Ah, uh, I see a spirit of a fellow scientist who really relishes the infinite possibilities of lady T. I think I oh, I have to look at something uh, last time. Yeah.
Gotta look at it last time, so. Inspector Gregson, good morning. Gregson, I didn't feel it was. The real question after the lightful hour. Oh, I don't know. Maybe because I've been confronted with a grammar expression. Oh, dear me, are you going to ask it? The salt, the salt, press it down, line down, press it. What? Boy, I don't know. Poor person. Anyway. Here's the paperwork you asked for. The paper what paperwork? Ah, I took a delivery requesting yesterday. I have a feeling that my food falls are useful. You wouldn't believe it, but the hoops that I jumped through the hoops I jumped through the brought out the archive. It's the professor's autopsy report. That's a mass murder. We killed five members of the oct of, of the tribe. We have found guilt. Uh, he was found guilty in close in the trial ten years ago. Now he was on a it was done on a rush, and he was quickly executed soon after that trial. It's all in here. Okay, I gotta look at that. Let's look at that for a sec. Death by hanging confirmed at midnight, June seventeenth. Redacted for confidentiality. Synosium. Synosium. Yes, much of a lie is crazy. Uh, us lowly lot of the yard are just doing what we can in the shadow of the great detective shown of us. Poor Gregson. Because he had to be transferred at some point. When the heck, well, for the is it? Yeah, that is it. Today we're going to lay the, the, all this to rest. I wish you best of luck, Professor. I suppose we'll sit me in there for there today, really. Forever. Yes, but that. Professor, we expect the prosecution to summon him as a witness. I'm still amazed you managed to find him just one day. I really owe you that much. So much. Council, end of the fence. The trial will resume. It's about to resume. Well, you make your way, finally make your way to the court. Oh, right. one. Ah, this is it, then. The final chapter. Funny, my heart's racing a little. I've never felt something actually. This strange fall on it. As if something is going to happen in this trial that I'm not ready for. But I can't let that distract me from the only thing that really matters. Finding the truth. Resume the public hearing of Albert um, Airbrain, here present to stand to accuse of murder. Are right, the counsels, the prosecution, the front, and the defense are ready to proceed? The prosecution is ready, my lord. The defense is also ready, my lord. As promised, Lord Von Sykes has his apprentice with him. His apprentice with the memory loss. If I may, Lord Von Sykes. Yes, my lord. There appears to be someone standing at your side. 
Ah, yes, my apprentice, and his sister. Prosecution believes today's proceeding will see the complexity of this case rise considerably. Rise considerably. Please, dude. Therefore, I have stuffed my sister to attend the insurance smoothly runs. And smooth running liquid and refreshment. Why a lot of it? Uh, the way he holds himself, the way he moves. Uh, I couldn't. It couldn't be anyone else. But he's still suffering from amnesia, so there's really nothing we can do for the moment. I know, but oh, it's, it's so very hard. I but a few of the prosecution have done their job fine. Responding to the demand the court um, made yesterday. I understand you have successfully secured the engineer who disappeared from the scene on the day in question. Yes, my lord. I intend to call him as a witness shortly. Very good, very good. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, the jury, who have been chosen randomly to represent the court today? Are you ready to really proceed? Ah, they're gonna be the same people. Yesterday, at the Great Exhibition Grounds, the evidence of primary importance to, in this case, the survivor of the today's machine, the saw by his uh, experimentation stage, was deliberately destroyed in an explosion, affected by another person and another person. It was what? An explosion? It's outrageous. Yep, we saw that coming. Yes, I heard the grave news yesterday. Scotland Yard submitted the report yesterday that the evening. I read the machine was blasted into smithereens and the wreckage reduced to ashes and flames. I have here a photograph print of the scene taken in the wake of the explosion. It shows what little remains of the machine. Ah yes, a terrible business. He did it to destroy evidence, didn't he? That and Ross Robert. Robert. The court will submit this piece as evidence. Late, late yesterday afternoon, the protection afforded to the machine was, was provoked. However, before the door organization could happen, the invention was avoided from my system. As such, this will become a very different file. Oh. As it stands now, with no evidence to which drawn from your conclusion, the obvious kidney system will remain forever in obscurity. Hmm, indeed, a misunfortunate state of affairs. However, one thing remains clear. Let them step, the results of the actions of the Hughes, or that we can be certain. The Q's first, the Q's as the operating machine who ultimately caused the loss of it. Yeah. As Lord Von Sykes rightly said, this is very different trial now. The Q's accept the responsibility for its part in the invention, the Vince Fence part, is a knowledge of that has been died as a result of the accident caused by the Shinfeld. However, I've announced the professor. He was being deliberately deceived by a pair of clever fraudsters. Names, counsel, if you please. Engineer, Mr. In Robes, never, and the victim himself, Mr. Ogden. So, what exactly are these two men behind the defense? The defense will like to expose the amateur dust, established in the equivocal instance of defense. 
Thank you, counsels. The frustrations of the prosecution defense have been clear stated. Lord, for my sakes, summon your first witness, please. Uh, of course, my lord. Prosecution calls the engineer Inert Driver to the stand. How do you pronounce his name? Inert Driver. Say your name and authorization for the court. Name Inert Driver. Occupation. Hard to pin down, I would say. See that black monocle? Yes, it was as though I've seen it somewhere before. Oh yes, I did too. Exactly the same feeling myself. Hmm. You felt your file indicates that you are currently being investigated in connection with another case. The death of the waxwork model, isn't it? A most extraordinary surrounding business. Uh, that has no bearing on the trial. I'm sure you quite believe from your mind. You are familiar with the public experimentation carried out with the Great Expedition Expedition on the same day. The accused are this is hypokinesis demonstration. Ah, uh, you can say that. I am aware of it. There was a terrible accident, wasn't there? By you. It was you, Mr. Trevor, who constructed the vast machine. Used in the experiment, or so our investigate in case. Can you confirm your involvement? Yes, I can instruct it. I precisely accorded with the blueprints, but that's all. The court, then the court will be here to hear your thoughts about the machine, I'm sure. The amazing, an amazing vice if you ask me. The pinnacle of modern science and Makes an instantaneous kinesis at really alley. What? Good gracious, do you mean to say that the experiment was a bona fide? That's a bona fide? Was bona fide? Is that your belief? Yes, that's as much as my belief. It's such a waste that it was. Well, we already established the machine was nothing more than a prop to elaborate the concept. Objection! Okay. We already established nothing of sort. All that shown during yesterday's proceeding isn't the same outcome that could have, could have been produced by the means of The defense merely and demonstrated. Oh my god. I'm already hating this guy just from the last case. The Kinesis Machine. I met with the young professor approximately one year ago through Armsman's introduction. He provided me with a blue with the blueprint and I constructed the machine to precise specifications, but it was no true. The whole show was a fraud that it would have required a dot body double. To tell me that the victim was a half a twin. All the spectators saw the guard case appear above their heads and above the cast following the cap. But I will ask, I grant you, perhaps a science in which is the machine was built was flawed to him. Uh, he has a point there. Uh, body double. Goes without saying, surely. It gave the impression that someone thing was moved without in reality is basically contraindicated. The argument perception cannot be achieved without sustaining the original with a fate at some point in the performance. But it would be right in saying you haven't managed to establish anything of those lungs. Uh, incidentally, the prosecution has already confirmed that Mr. Armsman had no twin similar. Hmm. It may, it's my understanding that the witness is his first in conquering a storm. But such talents does not do not indicate that he was actually able to accomplish what he claims. Namely, the construction of what, by all the counts, must have been extremely complex to the antiquity. What do you mean? Yesterday's proceedings brought true nature of your plot. 
Delight, Mr. Trevor. I did it, my lord. That's one more. The price on the instant. Yes, it's all true. I possibly consider the knowledge of stage magic. But crucially, my scientific knowledge more than machines is, more, is any academic in one's field. Investigation of the witnesses workshop attests to the claim, Mr. Fowler. As evidence, the police found the Royal Society's trophy for young talent in sight. Yes, that's true. We spotted ourselves in hypotheses that sound. That is sound. It can always be forged into fanciful manifestation without significant skill. Though I might, though I may have sound s sold the secrets of some of the perspective. Wild, sniveling, talentless scientists in the past. Would you therefore er, assert that explosion on the machine was an unfortunate accident, or of course, a deliberate act of murder? That makes use of a scientist, of science, of a science, or was you? No, for an offense. Your cross examination, please. Yes, my lord. You were already acquainted with Mr. Arthman himself. Not really. By chance, I've seen his name mentioned in the paper says. But I have no uh, interest in private affairs. If he was an unscrupulous investor, it ha was no concern of mine. As long as people will pay their bills, it makes to makes my tools and construct what they ask for. So you did, and why did I miss Arm and approach you then? Who can say? I presume it's my name of associate, well, excellence in engineering. Not to mention excellence in fraud. Uh, hard to gauge, but the point is, I all I did was construct the machine according to the blueprints I was given. In other words, the Kinesis machine was built on sole scientific principles. Yes, you might say that. Professor Hairbrain certainly has a mind in another word, you know, like no other. Remind me of the blueprints and I constructed the machine to this precise specification. It has no Hold it. It's clear that you have both the scientific knowledge and the knowledge of conjuring magic helmet or that more knowledge you have, you have better equipped with or to handle whenever it comes along. But the implication is that I furnish the machine with some trickery, I think. It's possibly all that we have to explore. Unfortunately, no, the machine has been blown the kingdom bone. There's really nothing left to explore, is there? It appears that the Kinesis machine was fitted with a time explosive device of some kind. And there is nothing left of the device either. Not a single shred of evidence from any year. He must have planned this all from the outset. But in any case, I want to clear that the experiment could have been a trick. The whole, if the whole show was a fraud, it would have been required a body double if you tell me. The victim did have a twin. Hold it. Well, of course, it is it. Objection! Uh, he acts as I know. Alright, I'll Uh, heard you before. Oh, there's a dread little bit. The demonstration could have been a trick. If there was somebody that looks like Scrooge, like the victim, Dr. Seth would have absolutely ruled out that as a possibility. It's beyond question that the victim himself, Mr. Armsman, did move from the stage to the Crystal Tower. The fingerprints found in the scene attest to that fact. So, it could, I can't have have been, org use been orchestrated using someone that looked identical as all. 
What are you thinking about? What are you gonna... Oh, no. Nothing. Just the idea of someone who looked like identical to the victim is funny. Crap's head first, he said. According to many witnesses to those who, uh, at the main time, yeah. were you not there at the exhibition on that day? Mm, unlikely, I really leave my workshop. Yet, there was another unique region was found in the uh, Well, it was a really machine. I had labored over for many months. I saw it clearly with my own eyes. Bar cage pummeling into the tower. Interesting. That was a part what a surprise. I believe the victim's neck was broken from heading from the heading full on fall, wasn't it? How would you have come by that information? Uh even in a formal recluse like me reads newspapers you now. According to the reports, two injuries were apparent in the victim's body. Yes, he's been stabbed in the chest with the screwdriver, believing the belong to the defendant. And had a broken vertebrae as a result from the fall of the third night. Alright. Do we have any. Do we know which injury was fatal? Sadly not. The forensics team is not yet. At the level such that things have to be determined. Hmm. What we know is that the victim died having sustained both injuries at some point during the experimentation. But since we found the verkeys with his neck broken, I was obviously he fell a considerable height. Hmm. I suppose that's hard to deny. Do you understand the science you so you understand the science do you? Uh, not in the slightest. Oh right. I said normal times and my I am an engineer. It's my job to manufacture according to the blueprints I give it. I would be investing in a man in a manifold problem if I foolishly allow my brain to digest the idea from the mind. I could be accused of stealing those ideas, for example. But how is it possible you construct a machine without really understanding the principles of lies on? Well, you're practicing law without really understanding the principles of lies on, aren't you? Touche! Not very good point. Sounds pretty self the point is, the experiment results in instantaneously as such, the science must be sound. Yes, and really, experiments result all are all matters when it comes to proving the hypothesis. He's certainly sure of himself. What do you think, Nurse Naruto? Well, now, when the machine is completely destroyed yesterday, it's, loaded, it's gonna be impossible to argue when it's an identical one in a way. In a way. But we were unable to establish that as piece of stage trickery gathering genuine science. We have no grounds to dem to which demonstrate for us right here. Of the armsmen and the man stand tricked for us and use them. They use advantages and naivety to unbanging on the work. I won't let them get away with it. And seeing the professor is an old friend of Lord von Sykes. What on earth must be working with be failing for towards new source to work.
Action! I should show him this photo. Result to a um to a thing.
Oh boy, is he really allowed to start the mom away? Sorry. Call for some answers, I hate to say. That's what it was. We examined the armored cage that crashed in the town of ourself. As you see, the cage which the wooden construction has sustained damage to one particular spot. Following the explosion, it first fell 30 feet from the tower. The level of damage was suspected. It's suspected. I agree. The damage itself is entirely understandable. That doesn't make sense. What doesn't make sense? It's the location of the damage. Mm -hmm. All the birdcage is wood on the base of the birdcage, not the top. What are you saying? That's the opposite word that it should be. That's right, my lord. Birdcage was at the scene damage at the base, in its base. We have reports the birdcage have felt falling headlong into the court. Crystal Tower, yet no damage on the bot at the bottom. The only way we can see the two facts is to accept that there were two bird cages in play to which there are some some point switch. Which during the which design time. Oh. Well, good gracious. It's one of yourself witness. I well, I examine the fact. If we examine the facts, there's only conclusion as well. The damage to the base of the bird plays equally said the end. Five until first. In the if by multiple reports, quite the witness fell help for us. The bird case materialized in the sky to line to the next falling spontaneous explosion. And an instantaneous 60 feet level of the ground, which is approximately 18 meters. Is then if then proceeds to fell fifty feet in the middle. Of Witness reports admits the chaos that are in their tunnels on the But the victim's neck was broken. Objection. And he flew at 30 feet inside heavy wooden cage. 
However, he fell, it would have been unscrupulous to find one or two vertebrae crushed. <sighs> oh boy, I hate this guy laughing. A riveting scientific analysis of events of the prosecution there. Though, to be more righteous, you would have to say the only vertebrae actually. It was only one vertebrae, it was actually. But he wasn't quite, quite for long. I find it hard to believe what motivate, what was motivating Miss Longbond Sykes. The witness is clear as swindler, a swindler who deceives the professional friends of his. If you're going to establish the, de the deception, do it right. Sorry? I feel like that's the undertone here. Ah, uh, yes, and there's one more point. The defense appears to have forgotten. It obviously wasn't a trick. It certainly the truth to plainly demonstrate. But... Seems to me the cross-examination had better continue from result. Matter. Mr. Rubber, do you want to your testimony with details of the truth? <sighs> we'll treat the matter scientifically. Oh, yeah, I nearly had him there. The Kinesis clearly took place because there's nowhere else 30 feet high from the Verkis would have fallen from. Hold it! What do you mean? Well, before demonstrating again, the victim was alive on stage in front of the audience. Yes, there were lots of witnesses. We saw Mr. Armstrong in his family teach the stage the truth. The victim's neck broke as a result as an impact falling fall. Luckily, therefore, there must have been from somewhere. The balloon that exploded in an altitude of 60 feet pointed to the impact of the 30 feet up. The difference of 30 feet, therefore, the total difference of RT is felt. And there is no other location in which the cage could have fallen in distance if it didn't drop from the outside. There we go. The victim herself must have been mean from the stage of sky above herself. Mm. Trying to hear me every time I hear it explain. It sounds incredibly horrible. Oh yes. It's very dark dark. Certainly all the spectators on the day saw it. The rock is plummeting thirty feet in the air. I saw it, I mean. Irritating, yes. Experimentation stage and its surroundings. All about thirty feet or nine meters. However, if you examine the diagram carefully, you'll see there is one po other possible location the bird case could have fallen. They're the same distance of 30 feet. No! Yeah. 
It's the, uh, it's this place. It's where you slapped. Oh. Where you indicate the place where you were referring to? It's simple. Are you here? And if it fell in here, the bird case would have flown in the story. Objection! I'm referring to is here. But that's where the bird case have been again with. That's exactly the point, my lord. Yes, the bird case was the machine on the stage. But there is also a many consider it's the height of the stage itself. Go on, council. It, it turns out the experimentation stage was built considerable height above ground level. It took if you look at the grand ceramic fight, you'll see it's about the same height above the ground as the balloon was about to go of the cross site. Also, sorry for the background noise. My neighbor is mowing the lawn. When the experiment when the experiment got 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 on the way, the machine and the bird cage were engulfed in the stream. moment the floor stage gave way if we assume that the bit on the point underneath. The bird cage and the one between the audience would have fallen exactly the same distance. Someone is responsible for the criminal destruction of the Kinesis system. It's true. Um, the stage still stands. Take a look at the moment of the photograph of the front of the scene yesterday's explosion. Good lord, the metal gray from that formed on the floor is undone. That's most likely blown open by the force of explosion. Destroy the rest of the machine. The defense calls for the space below the stage to be investigated immediately. Mr. River? Ah. It was you who built the beach, which means that it was you who built the two guard cages and where to carry it. By the way, the professor of brain cell prophecy sound of does make no difference. Because it's the construction of the machine the matter is designed and lay blame for it will only been clear enough by you that's our route uh, uh, objection here it comes here it comes the problem Scotland Yard have all something lost. Uh, I have no opportunity to switch the lights. Okay. Uh, 
I've already explained why you're one. The nonsense about the crossbow doesn't bolster your case at all. Well, man who disappeared on the stage and the man who crashed in the tower are one and the same. In the second line, you're something. It's a distinct lack of. I wouldn't. Yeah, no. Oh no. Why have to think everything for myself? Oh. I have here a contract provided by the witness. The contract is this. A contract in which Mr. Never entered with Mr. Arms and it reads If Trevor Reimers was 30% of all we from the government grant at another the 30 percent are certainly affordable uh, but there is one important provision bolted on the clause what provision Mr. Trevor may only be upright hold his right to get on the condition that the contracting parties are alive in other words either one is die the contract will be null and void you see, I have nothing to do with the game for that um, Archman's death, but... Ah... Uh, Alright, I'll be right back. Ouch. Dude, hit it right, it hurts. Ah, see idea who my what that's one aspect of your argument that still holds true however there's are two there are two we are two very cases the prosecution is unable to deny that oh I saw you're right on the mark line my Leonardo I no doubt there are, are other aspects of At the beginning of this trial, we believe that there was only one birdcage. 
Yeah, we are here in Windows Lab too. In other words, there are more than one. There was more than the demonstration as we realized at first. If I'm clear, add the same applies to the culprit. To get to the point, the stage demonstration was constructed and set up in the in, in its entirety by you, Mr. Driver. Therefore, it's inconceivable that you had no, your hand no hand in the events that trans. So, if the circumstances mean that it's possible that you could carry the crime yourself, it's the point of fact that someone else is involved too. What else? The council, are you suggesting? That's my word. Whoever had an accomplice. Accomplice now. When well then, I presume you are prepared for what to come. Now you're accusing not only the witness, but someone else of this most serious crime. If these accusations turn out false, then it makes no sense. The prosecution will demand the equivalent serious punishment for this time. How, counsel? Do you intend to pursue this court? Use another party involvement in this matter? I do here. At the moment, there's a little more hunt than a hunch than my part. I don't know if for sure if Rubber had an accomplice or even if he's really the culprit here. One way or another, I have to make my position clear as a lawyer. So, am my stance be Mr. Rubber have an accomplice or not? Name the accomplice. The man is ready to name Mr. Rubber's accomplice. Somehow, the two bird cages must have been switched. Everything points to that. Yet, according to the coroner's report, there's that's not a possibility. Wait, but that inconsistency is also itself as a clue. Counsel? Yes, my lord. You have received a sharp, sharp warning already. If you, if you are nevertheless determined, then I must ask you and identify the alleged accomplice by name. So your answer please? Who do you think claim is Mr. Confidence? Naturally! The name of the person in the question is what's wrong, Mr. Surely you don't find your it's late for that. Of course I'm afraid. After all, naming his her in this complicity is going to make waves a lot of waves. I could very well turn every single person in this courtroom against you. I'm sure I'll be alright, Mr. Norrell. Thank you, Mrs. Otto. Now he always appears larger than life, but you will appear exactly the same in the end. The end. Alright then, here goes. You can cap this. This is Scotland Yard's coroner. Doctor, what do you say? What, what the blazing are you talking about? Doctor said. How did a friend see in the coroner who could. We will know to. We know the two. So, how could have carried out this question? The accident happened in front of a huge crowd of spectators. The area mainly set off. Then, everyone in the police of the clue were banished to make way for the forensic team. What else could have been switched in for? It could have been the team's present. In essential, the court determined exactly what happened following the incident. The defense demands this. The witness. Oh boy.
Take that! We all know the victim of Iron Boy was the bird cases. And therefore, he couldn't have them made inside the second bird cases. We only describe as a body double, which is the pound. Just days before the press heard of Ryan's performance, the promise and the station is ever adopted the model from Matter of Tasky. Yet you did say adopted. Our sent Ray at the Ray Station. He was returned to the museum. Then the timing is this true, Mr. First, I couldn't see why Mr. Rubber would have stolen the box for giving it back again. But then again, the reason's clear. He took it so he can risk it. Objection! Here comes the problem. Uh, yep, here comes the guilty problem. saying his lines, so please forgive me. Because we all know this is coming. Objection. Here we go. Time for the count defense search convulsion act cross examination. Here you are. Guilty. Here we go. Guilty. 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 Yeah, this is coming. We have the our defense.
we shall get to swim. Yeah, cover the truth is a long way, I'm quite sure. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going. Here we go. <sighs> I've known that woman for years. She never be accomplished to anything. Yeah, it's utter nonsense to to think those who would ever convince one another was one another. Oh dear, it's most troubling, but surely the waxwork man's stole is nothing to do with the corner itself. I'm done. Many problems, many police. I do not trust them much. <sighs> it's no righteous proof that the waxwork was ever inside the work chain, suggested. It gives it some one one uh, right, uh, right, right evidence of my power. Uh, they all have a good point. Hmm. Even that the face that has a restored from the building, there is no way of resembling the victim. Uh, I cannot fall the mark. Uh, so. Why, but at the moment, but it feels as though there's a specific reason why it's used. Was used. Why it was this model? Why it had to be this model? Really? Why? Reason why? Nothing else. What do you mean? Yes, and I'm convinced that it's something far more significant than whether or not the model looked like the victim. Nothing like that. Be right back. with the wisdom. Yes, my lord. Oh. Don the press every day! Hold it! Uh, the order of things are clear to change around for some reason. Oh, I'm a copper lad. It's a copper direction to bend the rules sometimes when we... What's wrong with that? Uh, where do I start? I, I've been working at Scotland Yard for years. That's even more than I thought. We've had a, metrop a metropoli metropolitan police service in the town 20 years now, you know. Of course, times have changed and public don't trust coppers back when I started. It was about. We had to fight the crime. Crime. We had to fight you know, to win with the public's trust as well, and when we did, forensic science was a fact was in, in, in its infancy too, even more than it's now. It's and she spirited the resolution. Doctor says, you mean? That's right. About ten years ago now, it was when I was still a young uh, Bobby at his best, on the best, but. That is when she started making a name for herself as a top um, corner, cross corner. 
Now look at her, how, how to find some investigation. The woman is no less. Um, why don't you... Me complain. Is what we I we always ran back my gun. Oh gee, tell me without holding the gun and you We all are held in a lad from whim we are full of whim. That's coming across. Ah, uh, it's a loud glare. Hold it! Well you already almost starting to understand the case. What are you reading there, sir? Eh, in the murder of Saul's pen. Sweet, what's caught today's flat? That's real police for you. Uh, it's real not well into the gates of it. You're wrong there. This is Dr. Sips charged for examining bodies. It's evidence ra raising from her work led to the arrest of the scandal on Fossil. Oh. That's right, oh, that woman in the forefront the front of this country. That idea that she somehow is involved in the murky business is a lot of us. I thought it was me to press the jurors, not the other way around. Hold it! Why would you assume that? Well, it's quite simple because the ends. Modeling Splendor has no relationship with the woman, does he? True, as it stands, but we don't know that any connection. Gosh, oh gosh, it would be delightful to oh, romantic if they were somehow. Oh, I'm just really interested in the wax work. Romantic. A woman of scientific society. Such a view of views of everything in terms of relationship, you know. Well, you learn something new every day, even if you don't want to. One might wonder at the possible relationship between the defendant in the corner, this corner woman, or perhaps between the defendant and the handsome prosecutor just there. Oof! <laughs> this woman may be more attuned than I've given her credit for. Well, if that's the woman's stance, then perhaps demonstrating some concentration connection between the waxword and Dr. Sip would be enough. Yes, I agree. As soon as we get even a whiff of connection, she'll be the first to know. Hold it! It's what sort of problem? Let's just say we have a run-in with each other on numerous occasions while I've been performing on the streets. Right, I see. Obviously, artists such as myself cannot appear on stage as we are close proximity to the audience. We perform our great magic in the parks, on the streets, corners alike. But the police... Not in my time. The police well, use any excuse to make it our life difficult. Excuse me. Have something to say in response to that, Mr. Ottoman? Ottoman? Why are you calling me, Miss? Why are you calling me? Knowing I'm asking for her. Ah, oh, sorry, my mistake. I got confused. You look like him. Don't do it. I'm looking for him. Thanks, Mr. Holmes. Perhaps we should move on. Dude, I was really wondering if you had something you wanted to wrap a sponsor to our number reason today. Uh, and clearly you do. Back in my day, back in the good old days, it wasn't like this. Why is it like that? We worked our fingers to the bone to earn the public's trust we did. But by joke, we've earned it. People was respect back in then. Respect you? Hmm. No one could have called the corner, corner into question in the then the day in the, the day in the days. A corner report was a hallmark of our investigation done right. A 
especially when Dr. Corner Stevens, Courtney Stevens, her name on it. And that she was. Her, hold on a moment. What are you talking about? Her, Court, who's Courtney Stevens? Ah, sorry, got a bit carried away. There. Stevens is Dr. Says' maiden name. Her maiden name. So it was before she was married. Of course, yes. Sid, silly me. It's Sid now, isn't it? Wait, hold on. Honey. Yeah, hello. I just noticed that. Sure, I've seen that name somewhere recently. Anyway, the point is, there's a great day of policing, not like now. Sorry to interrupt, sir. But do you think you could change your statement and include it in Well, yes, I don't see why not. Chance and who's the instantaneous kinesis was a trick? And it did, but there's more way to put a rabbit out of the hat, isn't there? Sorry. I grant you, you given that this case appeared amidst an explosion, that might have indeed used a real person. But the wax word itself is culprit, this would be hard and decent to see them. I'm not sure exactly how much the rambles are going. But the point is, if you're going to make a claim about the wax word being inside the workcase, you need to give us some evidence. Without that, it's just... I suppose we should expect nothing less than a logical argument. Hello, Brian. Um, uh, perhaps a method of mind change if we manage this. Evidence that Professor Waxford was inside the park cage? Hmm. Can I prove it? Oh yeah, we can! Actually, I have some thing I like to see. Oh? I must warn you, I firmly believe I'm only wise to trust a man like so. But if you are given a jet black outfit, I don't mind admitting the scene of transparency here. So, I don't trust- so you don't trust anyone in black. And like looking in the mirror, that must be very tiring. I have some evidence that proves the wax work was inside the bird cage. Yeah, you remember that glass shard? Take that! What's the a piece of glass? Through a national piece of glass. It's a piece of broken glass we found inside the jacket of the wax work. As you say, it's no ordinary glass though. It's very thick and clear and made through a stretch ring. Looks like a specific glass developed for constructing the crystal tap. Oh. The crystal tap. Oh, smokes. Smokes. Exactly. The centerpiece of the great exhibition were the very incident we're talking about took place. On the question, the birdcage fell from above the smash through the window. The special glass. From, from whence a small piece of ornate wisdom. Precisely. So, what do you say? Oh, I said, I don't adjust my Michaels. Well, we're, where does reason sound? I have the to say, I have game to it. Yeah. Here, yes, I feel obligated. Hi, Ace, you're now four. You well, I mean, your statement.
Okay, press the wrong one. Yeah, those two do sound like... Objection. Yeah, there we go. Good gracious. Those two statements do you refer? If you could put your down down the corner during number five. Oh, you mean me? You point out those wrong making a station one of it. But the accusation of that the waxboard model it was inside the second bird case in the question was without supporting evidence as the defense demonstrated the jurors standing in beside you. Oh, is that right? Would you be fair to say that you didn't follow the argument? I don't understand much besides the call, 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 to be honest. Oh, of course you don't. Ah, if I interject here, please do. This assertion you are about to wax for has backed up some of all solid evidence. It would be wrong from your man of science not to pursue the fire out of Right, and my speed. See, I am. Um, I wouldn't have been going against a golem cop. Golem cop, or any one of the stuff. Of course. Oh, of course, he would. How did he get a kid on here, by the way? Ah, uh, says. If you call it that. These two statements clearly contradict each other. Good gracious. Which two statements are you referring, counsel? So, juror number two. Yes, me? What you can I do for you? I presume you heard what juror number six said in his statement. If he brought light to the maiden of the coroner, doctor said. In which terms reveal its connection that wasn't appeared before? Yeah, well, naturally, the woman in society I app I find such connection relationship with me. Oh golly, I'm afraid I see. I don't see what you mean. His their sis maiden name is Stevens, and uh, that's in, though that that name, the coroner is very different from the, from the last word of the killer. The fence has evidence to prove it. What well, goodness, evidence? You think? How utterly a thrill! Counsel, the counsel, court one. That last one mark. I very much hope there is substance. That's a fair claim. Of course, my lord. I have asked court to look at this. The evidence that clearly links up. It's the autopsy report. I have here a certain autopsy report from 10 years ago. A 10 year old autopsy report. Well, it was. It's, of course, from the officer of the person portrayed in the wax work. The killer now is the professor. But, uh, the professor. But that man's capital offender, so. That's right. That's the certification that gone upon the The identity of the killer was never made public, so given report get report given gives a few details. But what's important is the name of the coroner who wrote it. Courtney Stevens. Oh my Courtney Stevens. Oh strike a light. Eight. It appears the professor's options were, was conducted by the professor Seth ten years ago. A few days ago, Mr. Trevor very early stole the waxwork from the professor from Madame Trepsy. A waxwork that doesn't in fact resemble the victim's neat arsman at all. And why do you suppose there's some relevant relationship between this? <laughs> Absolutely, I'm sure of it. There is no doubt in my mind the professor's case, and it's a part of the link we have to get to recover. It's when Courtney said, and yeah, Mr. Andrava. Come on, and links, mysterious connections, got secret relationships. This is all most extraordinary. Here we go. We are gonna get that. Ah, it's 
Right, right. We can't let the trial end now. Not until the whole class, especially it's over a yard, it's the best corner. It's not, it wasn't like my day, but we still appeal to the court. So. Here we go again. It makes sense when you kind of feel like, realize it. Thank you, counsel. Well, do. I was all of the nomination. The jurors are, are listening. Learning has changed. Two jurors called guilty. A for against called not guilty. According to the court, failed to reach a, reach a consensus at the time. The trial must continue. Hi. We did it. Oh, well, I'm Mr. Noro. Absolutely another one of them. Here comes the problem. And I have a feeling the prosecution is gonna have a problem. Mm, a wax for the desperate professor. A spiteful professor. I used as a body double for the victim's quite a sort of case. I must say, it's extremely hard to believe in the assertion to possibly be true. However, it would appear that it does warrant, at least warrant a further investigation. If the wax for Word of the professor's linked to Mr. Belmar as a site. And I'm convinced that is also a special significance to the math family. I don't know what you're hoping to prove, Khaled. I really don't. The truth, sir, by using evidence and testimony. And the court, if the court delves deeper into the alleged involvement of the wax person in the case, in this case, then the prosecution calls for the owner of the model to be summoned as a witness. Owner, Madam Truspell, Truspell. Ah, oh, I really, I really thought that Von Sykes would object to the whole line of inquiry. Very well, I concur. Make arrangements for Madam Truspell to appear as a witness and immediately event. <sighs> Listen carefully. You should know that you're on the brink of a Pandora opening Pandora's box. A damn trust bill? Yes. I shall see to it at once, my lord. And I think this is a good time to call for a break in the um Um, in the let's play. Next time we're either gonna finish or um continue the uh, next part of um the case. All right, guys, I'm on Battle Three. Catch you night. Time. Catch you in a couple hours.